Hey guys, it's Brian from Cross Coast Gaming with another Java game programming tutorial. So the last time we left off, we made our clock class, or almost all of it anyways. We're going to go ahead and add the last few methods uh, just to finish this off so we don't need to deal with it later. Uh, the first one's going to be change multiplier. So remember we made a multiplier up here so we could speed up the game and slow it down. So this is just a way to call that from another class and change it. So we're going to pass along an integer for the amount of times we want to change it. And we're going to check if our multiplier plus the change that we're instituting is less than negative one or I mean and multiplier oops plus change is greater than seven then we're not going to do anything else multiplier plus equals change. And so the reason we're doing this is that we don't want to, these are just arbitrary numbers by the way, you can totally change the seven and the negative one when we get to a point that these actually matter and experiment around with those, but you don't typically want it to get much higher than that because your game will start to have a lot of performance issues. Uh, as well as lower than that, and dealing with negative numbers can sometimes make it a little wonky. Um, anyway, so that's our change multiplier. Uh, I swear I was going to add another method here, but oh, right, the pause method public static void pause. No arguments, and we're just going to check if the game is paused, then set it to false, or else set it to true. So that's just using one pause button. If it's paused, unpause it. If it's not, pause it. You know, that we don't need a pause button and an unpause button. So next we're going to do our enemy class here. And there's two, so far we've just been doing draw, right? And if you run the game, you can see everything is static, right? So everything's not really moving uh, or moving at all, I guess. And usually when you deal with movement or uh, collision or damage, stuff like that, it's separate from the draw method. The draw method is really just meant to show the stuff on the screen where it is. So we're going to go ahead and make an update method. And we made one of these in the clock class as well, if you remember. Public void update. And at the top here, below where we import the uh, artist, we're also going to import the clock that we made. And just go ahead and import all those methods there. And so for our update, we're going to say x as in our position, plus equals delta times our speed. So the speed is set when we make the enemy, and the delta is a value that we set instead of our clock class to get the time between the last update. Now there's something that we need to kind of work around here because we're building a game from the ground up in a sense, so we're going to expand on a lot of this later. But for now, there's a kind of an issue that we're going to run into, which is the very first time the clock calculates delta, it's going to be huge compared to the rest. So usually we're looking for a value smaller than 1 for our delta between the last update. But the first time it calculates it, because everything's kind of booting up, it's going to be a, a huge number that will just put our character totally off the screen. So what we're going to do is make a temporary fix here. And at the top, we're going to make a private boolean first, and we just set it up here, it's just temporary, equals, oops, equals true, as in it's the first time that this is being run. In our update, we're going to say if first, meaning if first is true, then set it to false, else do this, do the update. And so really that's just saying the first update, ignore it, the clock will then calculate the delta again and we'll just continue from there. This only happens the very first update of the game, the very first time the game's run. So the last thing we need to do is go to the boots class here. And first we need to update our clock, so clock.update. And below that we'll do e.update. You always want to do your updates before you draw the characters. Clock.update, e.update. Uh, e is the enemy that we set up here, if you remember. The speed is 2, which might be too high. We'll see. Actually, let's just set it to 1 for now. And let's go ahead and see how that looks. Sweet. Okay, so it definitely wasn't too high at 2. He's going pretty slow. 
So really right now we're just seeing our enemy move across the screen. Okay. And remember, if you want to change the speed of each enemy, you just set this last value here to whatever you want it. So three, for example, you can see it goes faster. All right. So this kind of update and then draw is going to be the basis of all of our movement in the game, including projectiles, enemies, towers, player cursor, you know, everything like that. He'll eventually go off the screen there. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.